Hello, I'm Sip Mendez and welcome to Sip's Handy Tips. And I've been very impressed with my little uh, World Panda Mini keyboard. And I'm not affiliated with them in any way. But uh, I got it for Christmas as a Christmas gift, but it's pretty neat. It's I, I really enjoy it. The um, keys are small, but they're the same size as my Casio. I started out with a Casio SA76, I think it is. And um, I like the size of the keys. I'm, they're a little undersized, but then I have small, small hands anyhow. And so it works out great for me. But what I have been having a lot of trouble with is getting it to work the way it's I think it's supposed to. <laughs> uh, I want the uh, keys to play as a piano and I want the pads to play as drums. Here is my Panda Mini Editor and the first thing I need to do is uh, retrieve the information from the keyboard. Keyboard is plugged in and I'm gonna read it. Are you sure you want to read the data? Yes. Okay. So now it's read the information in and it's telling me what information is stored in my keyboard. Now this uh, keyboard has four scenes or banks of um, presets. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four and one is the normal setup and common tells me that the global MIDI channel is one the uh, piano keys are on channel one and my individual um, pads are on channel 10 there's actually a control up here and you can decide what you see on these buttons and other and other things by dropping it and if you click on MIDI channels it will show you that all of the buttons are on 10 and that's the normal setup uh, and if you click on assignment no the next one CC note number these are the notes that will play when uh, the uh, pads are pressed. Pad 1 will play uh, C3, A2, C sharp 3, D sharp 3, etc. And uh, if you, these should be the defaults. If you want to make a screen print of this, this would be a good time or press pause. The second bank I've changed. This is my second bank and you'll see that it is very different um, in only one respect these keys have been reassigned and now the uh, pad one start, starting with pad one you'll see that it now plays C0 C sharp 0 D0 so these are notes that are way on the left side of the keyboard. These are low notes that would normally be low notes. And um, to change these, it's very simple. You click on the note, you go down here, and you designate which note you want to, to play. So this one was, is, this one is C0. I can change it to C sharp. I can go down to change it to B1 and I'm just gonna put it back at C0 and then to save it you need to go here say send data are you sure you say yes and the data is sent to the keyboard and that's the only change I've made to the keyboard I'm I'm gonna start by uh, configuring my piano my piano I'm going to change all inputs to World Panda Mini. Very good. I'm going to set my output to synthesizer uh, Halion Sonic SE. Okay, and here is my interface for that. Uh, it says first contact. I don't know what that is, 
but I'm going to go down here to GM001 Acoustic Piano. Okay, and uh, it is indicating that it is on channel 1. Very good. I'm going to close this off. I'm going to configure my drums very similarly. I'm going to change all MIDI to Panda Mini. I'm going to change my output also to uh, Halion Sonic SE. And I'm going to do everything as if it recognized it on channel 10, which it does not. I'm going to mute channel 1. I'm going to pick on number 10 here and I'm going to go down to 129 which is a drum set it says stereo GM kit and that should be my drums very good now if I hold down control and click on piano both instruments should play simultaneously. You can hear the cymbals in there especially well. And that's the real problem, is I don't know how to get um, Cubase or Halion Sonic SC to recognize two channels coming from the same device. Okay, so I will close this off here. Or, yeah, I'll close that off. Um, step two. So my idea is that I'm going to dedicate some very low uh, notes on the keyboard that are way off that I don't use. This is a 25 key keyboard, so you can only access 25 keys at a time. I can use the... the um, transpose up and down an octave and to, to get lower notes or to get higher notes so I'm gonna use some of the low notes and dedicate those to to the drum set I'm gonna go to the piano and I'll call up Halion and here is my piano and I hope you can see that right here that is center C okay if I go up here and click on MIDI, I can see that all of the keys are being used by this. Okay, my lowest C here, that's C2, and then C1, I'm going to go down an octave. This is C1. So for now, I'm going to curtail my keyboard down to C1. Later on when this is when I get this all figured out I'll I'll make a, a custom uh, choice on that. But C1. So I go up here and it says C2. So if I go up I'll say that says that my lowest note is C1. Okay. And my highest note, I don't particularly care about right now. Oh, that's C minus one. B1, C0. Here is C1. Oops. So if I go down another octave, they won't play. Here's C1, but uh, B1 won't play. None of the others will play. You can see I'm clicking. You can see I'm clicking away down here, but they don't make any noise. Okay. The other keys to the right, we'll leave alone for now. Now let's close this off. So there are actually simultaneously there are two instances of um, of Sonic 
Okay, this is the uh, drum one. And this one on the right is the piano one. Now, on to my, if you look here, you'll notice that these are already grayed out. And that's because the drum set has less than 88 unique noises. Let me go back here for a second. And we are, we've got the drum set on. Okay, so now the drum set is on and the piano is quiet. Now what I want to do is this one here, this little clicky sound is C0. Now I want to move it further down. Well, there's actually a way to do that. You can use this octave here and you can turn it down to, to uh, C to minus 2. What you do on these controls is you click on them and you just move the mouse either up or down. You don't need to try to spin it around. So it's on two. Now, the keyboard is not working, which is fine. But using bank two, my drums are working. Now, I can go back later and select exactly which drums I want these eight to be. But for now, the drums are working. Now I'm going to um, go over here. I'm going to close off both of these. Yeah, I'll close off both of these. And hold down control and turn on the piano. My keys are working and simultaneously my drums are working. So this is definitely a bit of a hack but it does work and um, you can decide how far you want to limit your keyboard. Maybe you want to use the really high keys. Maybe you want to use the really high keys. I chose the low keys. So it's up to you if you're going to try this method but uh, it works for me. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, if this works for you, great. Uh, leave me a comment. If you know a better way to do this, definitely leave me a comment. Maybe we can figure out the proper way of doing this. Or if we all work together, maybe we can figure out the proper way of doing this. Um, there is a link uh, in the description that will take you to Amazon. And you can check out more specifically what this keyboard is, how much it's currently selling for. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, if you like the video, click on like. If you're not a subscriber, click on subscribe and you'll get a notice every time I put out another new video. Um, I really am enjoying using this little keyboard and so I may uh, have some other videos to put out there. So until next time, take care.